Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Circle. This video is about ugly number. So first of all, we'll discuss what is an ugly number. It is a number which is defined as numbers whose only prime factors are 2, 3 and 5. It's a number whose prime factors are none other than 2, 3 or 5. Now we are going to see a Java program where we will input a number from user and we will check whether it is ugly number or not. So we'll create a class with the name ugly here. We'll double click on the class icon. The code window gets opened. Now we'll begin our program. The very first line of the program that is import java.util.scanner. Let's create the class ugly. The class scope begins here. Then we'll have the main function public static void main. After the creation of main function, the scope of the main function begins and then we'll create the object of scanner class to take input from user. After the creation of the object of scanner class, create some variables. Here I have created n integer type to take input from user and here I have taken c as a counter which is initially zero. Why we have taken c? We have taken c uh, that will be used to find any prime factor other than 2, 3 or 5. Here we take input system.out.println enter a number n equal to ob.next ante. So our input is done. After this input process what I am going to do here I will create a static method uh, that is to be uh, that is for checking a number as prime. So here public static boolean public static boolean is the return type and the name of the method I'm mentioning here is prime intx a variable here which will be uh, passed while calling the method and here this method is responsible for checking whether the passed number is prime or not I have taken intf here as zero the number of factors as zero the loop begins from one it goes up to the last that is up to the number that is x i plus plus Okay, now look for the factor if x modulus i is equal to 0 then f plus plus if a number is prime then f value will increase only two times. Now here we will write if f is equal to 2 then return true else return false. Okay, so this method is responsible for checking prime number. Now this method is statically designed so that we don't need any object to call it. Okay, that's why I have made it above the main function in the class now let's go uh, down here after taking input now what we are going to do here we will run a for loop again we'll run a for loop and we'll begin it by 2 because the prime factors begins from 2 only and let's go uh, lesser than the number i plus plus see what condition i'm putting here we are here in this condition we are looking for a factor which is other than 2 3 or 5 so we are checking here if the number is moduled by i if the number div uh, moduled i is equal to 0 if number is divisible by i and that number is that value of current value of i is not 2 and if it is not 3 and if it is not 5 we are looking for a factor which is other than 2 3 or 5 and it is prime as well as it is prime okay and if all these conditions are true then the value of c will increase by 1 close the loop okay loop is closed now if this condition is true then the value of c will increase by 1 if this condition is false then only we will consider that number is ugly number so if c remains 0 then we will print a message here that it is an ugly number okay and if the value of c is increased it means we have found a factor which is prime and it is other than 2 3 or 5 so else portion will write here not an ugly number now we'll close the main and close the class we'll go for compilation class compile no syntax error right click void main enter a number let's enter a number here 30 it is an ugly number okay recompile let's check with a uh, different value we are giving here enter a number message is there now let's put 90 it is an ugly number now i'll put a such number where uh, a factor is other than 2 3 or 5 so let's put 34 not an ugly number 